my language is Hindi. I'm trying to do, you know, deliver lecture or whatever about me in English. If I made mistake, please forgive me. Mm -hmm. huh? Thanks to OCA, DCA, and other staff behind working there, uh, bringing me here as a soaring birds, uh, part of the soaring birds. Thanks and uh, thank you all of you being with us or me um, we have five part the birth and origin of pradhan gond art the journey of this art form the place of this art and this contributions gond art as a contemporary art towards to future without labels johar Good afternoon everyone, where I come from, Shijhora, an Adivasi village in eastern Madhya Pradesh in central India. This is how we greet each other, Johar. Before saying any further, I will offer you a karma song, the creation song of the ancient Gond community. Karma ke po thila gharma bishar ke ayo Kaga hun karame gatila He Bhagavan kaga hun karame gatila Nau man ke tur kaya jar gai mitti bhai shari raga Yeh tan ke gha man jan kar bed man ho thai bahut adhi raga Karma ke po thila gharma bishar ke ayo ka gaahu karame gatila Khaavat ke mai thari dayo peevat ke mai lota ga Maya khojat khojat mola hai gai bada dhokha ga Karma ke po thila gharma bishar ke ayo ka gaahu karame gatila so that's karma song you know belong to our community and uh, we greet each other through the karma songs and uh, not occasionally but uh, many times in the year and special uh, occasion in the harvesting time wearing clothes like you and speaking in a language that is a foreign to both you and me I have come to uh, come a long way in life. My journey has been like that of a pinwheel, what we call a firki in our village. It has been a story of constant change, a change that has driven me and a change had a change that I have often driven. People call me Venkat call me Venkat. My full name is a mouthful, Venkat Raman Singh Sham. <coughs> I was born into a Pradhan Gond family in the village Sujhora. A few kilometers from my home lies the Kanha forest where Rudyard Kipling sat his jungle book. I now live in the state capital of Bhopal and I claim inheritance also from the oldest rock art site in the this part of the world Bhimbetka which archaeologists trace back to the upper Paleolithic and Mesozoic era. <coughs> this gallery of cave arts in 25,000 years old. It is housed in the dike along the oldest river subcontinent Narmada. Over four years I work with my friend S. Anand on telling the story of my life and of my community which has been published in 2016 in the form of a book called Finding My Way. In this book and in my life in general, I have driven, I have drawn an arc from my village Sujhora and cave art of Bhimbetka and climbed kinship with Gaudi and Dali in Europe as well as with the Aboriginal artists of Australia. Okay. 
just just as much as low uh, oh sorry yeah um, can you shift it yeah uh, yeah I'll tell you so uh, just as much as O did to masters like M F Hussain and S H Raja they owe an uh, acknowledged intellectual and artistic debt to score of lesser known Adivasi artists like me. How did what we call modern Gond art came about? In the mid 1980s and 1990s, Jangan Singh Sham, my uncle, my father's younger brother, single handedly and single mindedly gave Pradhan Gond art its name and identity in the international world today. If I speak before and today if I speak before it is because of Jankan and the encouragement of support his genius received from another famous Indian artist the late Jagdish Swaminathan who promote not only Jan, uh, Jankan but many tribal artists him in the 1980s in Bhopal. Gone and other tribal art that used to be made on the walls of homes now started appearing on paper, on canvas, in the market and in galleries. Today I am here before you also become uh, because uh, my uncle Jangan famously committed suicide in Negata, Japan in the year 2001. His death paralyzed the world of Gond art. It was offered his death that artists like him, myself, Ram Singh Urviti, Bhajju Shyam, Durga Bhai Vyam, and others made a name for themselves. Being invited to Dhaka gives me both pleasure and pride, for I represent not just myself but my community that is otherwise. Adivasis are not just our first people, but they are first uh, uh, first artists too. The Gon school he represents believes in conceptual art. Our life and all uh, art is about the coming together of the line and the dots. Some dots are placed when joined they can assume any shape. They can be given any color, they, they become lines and turn into rivers. Gond are seeks to astound and astonish. Till some decades ago, Gond art was merely drawn on the walls of homes for life cycle rituals and festivals. It was not gallerified or on, on it or sold. It exists in and for itself. The Gond belief is that the land owns us the art we make owns us we cannot own the land or art how did i become an artist does merely belonging to a tradition make me an artist i did not learn from school from the uh, uh, from school and books i often uh, often skipped school and barely managed to matriculate I fished in river alone that run by my village. I stole corn cobs. I learned to plow. I heard the bana, the strings instrument on which my ancestors sang our oral history, myths and legends, our karma song. I also heard uh, American singers passing by our village sing the songs of Kavi during my childhood. And since then I have had an abiding interest in Kabir and music. Before Vipardhan Gon came to be called artists in the urban modern sense of the word, we were the record keepers of our community. There has also been an age old tradition of making murals and paintings on the walls of our villages. This is called Digna and Choka. This is still done in homes in the village. The patterns are mostly abstract. Till some 30 years ago, natural dyes all extracted locally were used. It was a mural by Jangan on the walls of Patangar, the attest, attracted uh, uh, the urban painter who went native, Jagdish Swaminathan. 
He invited Jangan to Bhopal in 1982 to make a professional career out of art. By then, the Bharat Bhavan has been established in Bhopal. Thus, the Gons and other tribals like the Bagas and Bheel and other more started working with paper and artificial colors only in the 1980s. Jangan represented a dramatic change. He represented Gon art the way the modern world came to perceive it. What you see now, Gon art is thus both contemporary and ancient. It is formed now and from forever. Uh, actually, yeah, that's, uh, this is called uh, Digna and Chauka. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. So, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Jangan won the highest state award for art, Sikhar Samman, in 1986 in 1988. My father forced me to go to Bhopal to work with him, learn from Uncle Jangan. I was a disciple of Jangan's for three years and following some ego classes and owing to lack of independence, I left for the metropolis of Delhi, New Delhi. Uh, I did any and every job that came my way. I soon become a daily wages labor in Delhi. Um, can I get portraits? Today, a cycle rickshaw. Once I become uh, very sick, actually, this is my life. Uh, this is, and uh, yeah. Once uh, I become very sick in Delhi, contracted cerebral malaria, and I return to my village to recover. I return to Bhopal again and work as a signboard and hoarding artist. I climbed scaffold and painted, uh, painted hoardings of 20 by 60 feet size. I learned a lot about brushes and techniques during this period. My artwork today reflect a confluence, a sangam of many kinds of art I have seen. Though I think I retain an aesthetic and a stylish uh, sensibility that may be seen in distinctly Pradhan Gon. Okay. Meanwhile, I fell in love with a woman called Saroj Elop, got married, and I had children. Saroj is now an artist in her own right. In 2001, the disastrous news of, Jan, uh, news of Jangan's uh, suicide in far away Japan shocked not just the Pradhan Gond artistic community but the entire world of the arts and later in India. But Jangan's death sadly also brought renewed interest interested in the Pradhan Gond art form. Publisher wanted these artists to illustrate children's book, Adivasi artists were sent to festivals of abroad. Thanks to Raju Sethi, uh, best known for festival of India abroad dur during Rajiv Gandhi uh, Prime Ministers in India, uh, I managed to lead four other artists like himself to Barcelona in 2004 to participate in forum and international art and cultural festival. Uh, this is also where I saw the work of Gaudi and Dali for the first time and I felt a kinship, kinship with them. And I and at least a half dozen Pradhan Gond artists like me have today exhibited widely in India and abroad. We seem to have arrived but even today most of uh, the art worlds galleries, curators, uh, other artists and critics views us as traditional artists. This NGMA is a for modern and contemporary art. There is a craft museum to cater to Adivasi art and tribal art. If it 
need to be changed that decision has to be taken by the ministry of culture this is an unfair hierarchy i am an gone and i would like to end with the famous doha of kabir that perhaps best reflect the knowledge tradition that i have represent pothi pad pad jagmua pandit bhaya na koi dhai akhar prem ka padhe so pandit hoy madhya that's like a pillar so the very symbolic things so i thought this is a word place or uh, another the melting watch of the dali uh, and uh, here uh, sorry oh yeah i'm so sorry <laughs> okay yeah yeah i explained before <laughs> i'm so sorry actually i am thinking this is going on or this is the oh, okay sorry. yeah yeah so yeah where i seen this uh, the gaudi and dali uh, work and uh, i was very you know excited about to do because the very similar uh, we have uh, our worship place called uh, madhya but uh, we uh, make pillar and use uh, a peacock feather to decorate uh, that things so it's like that and uh, of course that dali melting watch and uh, here uh, the barcelona the beach we have actually uh, just i explain little bit about the uh, you know such system or uh, the people you know in uh, our village uh, we call gotul actually gotul uh, if you uh, someone read about the uh, very relevant book you know if someone you know very relevant is a very great master or uh, you know writer so he wrote about many tribes in india and uh, even he married i think 17 or uh, 16 something 16 or uh, 17 something lady Only in the four. different uh, yeah different uh, tribes yeah different tribes and uh, oh, yes also he married my aunt yeah and uh, in 2015 my aunt died in silong actually uh, her name was uh, seela uh, uh, yeah seela so this is actually the why i am representing here this painting because uh, uh, that ghotul system was you know for young generation for teenagers to learn their uh, you know basic uh, knowledge basic things uh, through the system you know we have uh, that kind of system but government banned now uh, on totally that system and uh, when i was in barcelona and i uh, you know very curious to go to the beach and see what are they doing it what is mean beach just for <laughs> me actually i never seen and never been so uh, my friend take to me the beach and there was all you know gents and lady they were naked and you know come <laughs> yeah of course uh, and uh, they uh, i don't know what they were applying in the body uh, for what i don't know but uh, later i know okay why they are <laughs> you know lying down in the near the beach and having sun bath or, uh, this is called uh, like uh, in new generation but uh, yeah uh but in our uh, village you know the the system they they know the value uh, they know the system uh, what we are so before uh, you know um, uh, to become a, uh, how to say that uh, actually the, we uh, it's a transition uh, to adulthood so i don't know but actually thus you know up to you know become young actually yeah become young like a guru and teacher they taught them uh, and teach everything even the medicine even the system you know uh, because in uh, right now i am watching in uh, not uh, of course uh, another country but in india uh, they are uh, teaching about the menstruation system for girl you know that's very same in our tradition they taught before 
the menstruation and uh, that was the go tool you know so how we uh, we are rich before uh, this system this education system so anyway uh, that's a dis subject uh, different subject but uh, you know this is that uh, and uh, another is i think you they are bringing in the new education system to them that's why they are saying is this is old education system it's not good for us replace replace mm -hmm. so uh, no come here more smart yeah and uh, this is uh, myself my self portrait ah. yeah is that knife or umbrella ah <laughs> Actually, I'm killing the new generation. So that's why it's downside, not up. You know. Right. So my new work is begun like this. You know, one, one place, uh, including together. Uh, and this is about, sorry, uh, that's called, uh, the, that's uh, Raju Luch. Lochan quoted uh, about this thing. Your place is not uh, NGMA. Your place is like Delhi Heart or whatever. So that's why I am representing this thing here. And uh, of course, my father. I salute my father because he taught me. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, he never study in his life. Even the first class. He went to the first uh, uh, class uh, for uh, first day, you know, and my uh, grandfather, uh, he works uh, for Verrier Alvin, you know, uh, as a cook, and he lives in Ceylon, and when he returned, and uh, he saw uh, my son going in the school uh, in the age of 10, so he kicked my father and hit me and you know abuse many things so my father stopped the study and learn uh, plow and everything work slave jobs for years and then uh, shifted to another place to my uh, <coughs> maternal grandfather place where i grew up where i born and uh, he got the government job he learned his own uh, not english but hindi and he teach seven, six standard children. So I really salute. Yeah, yeah. and uh, this is finished. <laughs> so. Madhula, uh, another lady, uh, she is cura art curator. Mm, she called me and Venkat, uh, you are inviting for APT 8. Then I thought, what is APT 8? Because, you know, sometimes I'm very curious to know what is, and the APT 8, I don't know, what is that? And I, I ask many times, what is APT? No, Venkat, APT 8. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, so, so anyway, uh, later, uh, because uh, now I am using iPhone 7 Plus, because, because of, he is the best friend for me to, uh, you know, give the knowledge and uh, meaning and everything. So I search there, what is APT, <laughs> you know, and the ACF, ACF, external. So I thought, oh God, I am very... You know, myself was like my uh, breast was, yo, I'm going there. Uh, and then uh, later I connect with Tarun Nagesh. I think he's here or not? Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. So Tarun Nagesh and email, everything, chatting. And uh, so uh, Tarun told me, Venkat, uh, you are being invited, uh, the part of that uh, APT 8 and whatever. And uh, also he said, Venkat, uh, you can give some, you know, uh, lecture or uh, y your uh, thoughts, present yourself. So uh, when I reached there and uh, before, uh, 
you know uh, attending the APT8 I research and uh, even uh, uh, Don Mundi uh, uh, he curate one uh, curate and uh, like uh, uh, in 1995 am I right yeah uh, one um, workshop with traditional gond artists and Aboriginal artists you know the workshop we conduct in Delhi uh, that uh, Jyotindra Jain was a part of that uh, workshop so that time uh, I was also there with my uncle Jangan Singh Shyam so uh, I was very surprised because I read something about the Aboriginal and so many people they're saying oh your art looks like very you know similar to Aboriginal and then I said uh, I thought and what what is Aboriginal Ab original or Aboriginal so you know is why they why lots they of yeah lots of questions so and uh, I always know more about uh, myself about uh, ourselves and of course indigenous people you know about indigenous people so then uh, I, I search myself and uh, I sit together with my friend S. Anand uh, who I mentioned here uh, my friend and I ask uh, can you help me to uh, write uh, you know the lecture or something for me so uh, Venkat uh, tell me your uh, story about you first tell me about you about you know about uh, your tradition and this this then uh, I let him know everything and then uh, he curious to go uh, my place and we uh, I take to him my place and he realized to know uh, who I am and how we are uh, you know belonging to each other because I tell the story not from the book from the myth so uh, there's uh, in our story uh, we telling a story about the creation first so there were there was one land mass only and one God who create the land who create the human who create the animals and everything. He was one, only one God. We call Bada Dev. So that means Supreme God. So that's how I wrote that story and uh, make connections with Aboriginal artists. Uh, we are brother and uh, of course and even uh, very uh, short note about uh, uh, the uh, title. You know, I have titles Syam and Maravi, Markam and many more. But I found the Zambava Maravili, that the guy, uh, artist, painter and, uh, you know, present, uh, represented of the uh, indigenous art family. So uh, he very similar with Maravili. If I say Maravi, or Maravili so only L I is there so very similarity and the Zambua is like Jambu Jambu you know so it came from Jambu Dweep and we are also part of that you know Dweep so that's why we have lots of connection and uh, you know we can I think Tarun can be explained more <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just about uh, Terry uh, Jambawa, who met uh, ja your uncle. Yeah. He came to uh, work with your uncle, and then you were telling that story of the effect uh, of seeing this part, a famous painter. Yeah. 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 Um, and then. Someone was telling me that story, and I realised oh, that was this exhibition we took to to uh, New Delhi, and how your uncles were all uh, inspired by this Terry Jumbawa, the Aboriginal painter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. 
they use both use dot you know in our tradition we also also use dot if you look very closely i don't know uh, it will be work or not oh god where is that cut sir okay okay uh, can you explain it no you the you can see the some control plus control plus okay or apple plus no does it work in powerpoint um you can see we can see here yeah so dot and line and dashes and we have meaning uh, uh, behind this circle and dots why i put one single dot uh, before uh, the circles semi circle is there so the the single dot is represent our god bada dev and we are the community following in the line uh, surrounding the area so gond ha gond art has meaning not like simple just a, a picture or uh, just a theme or anything uh may i um uh, thank you venkat for sharing your life story which i found very inspiring uh, i must say Um uh, I was wondering like do you find younger generation with, with artistic inclinations being inspired by you around you and is there something of a adivasi turn in the art scene in India just wondering yeah uh, <coughs> actually uh, um I would say uh, of course but uh, you know uh, in my style right now near about 200 uh, adivasi artists working in this style uh, same like uh, the circle and dot if you found any gond art you can find that that circle and dot so you are master about 200 gond artists yes 250 gond artists they are following my this uh, style so and Uh, and for your knowledge uh, just uh, actually i am thinking for a school because of uh, you know uh, otherwise uh, uh, in the new generation i am very you know uh, hopeful no hopeful but um, very sad uh, because they don't have good knowledge you know and they are uh, just in minute they touching the like phone or uh, anything <laughs> searching by google and they asking oh this is this uh, yeah yeah this mean this and we we have long you know relation with our uh, grandfather grand families and we learn from there so i think it can be developed through that way uh, to teach them better knowledge and put them on it uh, because then they can uh, expand more and more otherwise they can lose and they can uh, they can't work properly just because they are copying everything so, so that's why i'm thinking for school um, long, long time back i i actually i got the opportunity from government uh, of uh, madhya pradesh uh, put my uh, you know thoughts and he agreed to give me land uh, technical land but by mistake i i shipped it to the uh, different uh, you know ministry and then they gone <laughs> yeah but uh, now i am thinking to establish in the village um, because uh, and even uh, like uh, uh, i can invite uh, from different part of the world people can come and learn uh, gond art and share their thoughts uh, so this is my idea i don't know i hopefully because i am asking everyone and uh, not from the government uh, from the ngos from the good person who can help me and uh, also they can go there and check the everything and then we can establish something better you know
and share the ideas. Yeah. In fact, you, you had an image of a work you showed earlier. It was a tree. And yeah. It said craft museum, tribal museum, and something okay. else. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you talk yeah. a little yeah. bit about that? This one. Yeah, yeah, this one. See, in, in the lower part, uh, uh, in the tree, there's a one sun. It's that symbol of the Suraj Kund. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's happening every year in the Suraj Kund near very close to Delhi. Uh, I think, uh, uh, yeah. I think it, uh, maybe it might also just explain that it's a mela and a fair. Yeah, that's kind of mela actually. That's a fair, not like exhibition gallery, proper gallery. This is kind of mela, and people can go there and watch. Okay. Oh, so like, you know, uh, if you go the zoo. Just example for uh, this kind of uh, event, and uh, animal scare about himself because uh, lots of people watching and uh, they hey it's like it sometimes yeah it is time so sometimes you know even the tiger himself tiger. make very scare so that's kind of uh, situation in the mela where I'm thinking I don't know uh, for other artists they enjoying or what but uh, I'm very scared. So uh, this is the Suraj Kund, and here is the uh, craft museum, tribal museum, Delhi Heart. I also mentioned the name, and uh, this is the Kala Ghoda festival uh, in Mumbai. So that's why the black horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. And sari, is it sari? Uh, uh, Sari and the mask is, uh, you know, stand, uh, stand alone, uh, but invisible. Na? When you face covered with mask, then who you know? Don't know. Nobody can know. Uh, who are you? So that label they are fixing uh, to the artist, to the, uh, like, uh, not gone only, even the many uh, uh, Madhuvani artists uh, from the Northeast, from the other Rajasthani fur painter. I, I seen in uh, India. Can, can I ask? Thank you so much. Um, has your participation in Sakahan and in Asia Pacific Triennial had an impact on the museums in India accepting Adivasi art as contemporary art, like you wish? No, not yet. Art? Not wow. yet. Even in the abroad, they appreciate. But India, they're saying, oh, no, we don't have a space for you. So India is a very small country. So that's why I'm thinking. <laughs> no, but yeah, of course. But I think why not we can build, uh, because uh, you, before your presentation, um, sorry, your name. Uh, my, yeah, Kimberly. Uh, Kimberly. Uh, I seen something, you know, so in the gal uh, in the mm, many museums, but why not we can build uh, our own museum in our country or our village? Then people can go there and watch properly and learn better. You know, why we spend lots of money to go to the New York or South America or North America or Canada or many places? Why not you can build your own museum? Then people can understand, they can come, enjoy properly, and learn better. Yeah. That's my idea. I don't know how or what or when or, you know, it will be happen, but uh, I have that kind of idea. Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>